No services for 145 k's, babe. Do you think they moved him? No, they haven't moved, unless he crawled away. <laughs> he might have. Who the heck, guys? Look at the water there. Yeah, beautiful. What'd you buy, mate? <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> thought you might have got mine. lost. <laughs> now, it's very complicated. What? Why? Because I went down the back, right? And she reckons I was lying to her. Like I'd lie to her. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> You've got a bit of fluff there between your boobs. A fairy boobs. Sit down before you look at this because it's absolutely beautiful in the bay, babe. Yeah. Look here, you're a fucking mess. What's going on? I got out of bed and he sent me for coffee run. I don't give up. <laughs> Wait a minute, refer back to goat track one. <laughs> <laughs> you okay there? Can't talk? No, it doesn't want to waste her energy. No. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and admire the view. You keep going. No, I'll wait for you, babe. Well, that's the kind of sort of bloke I am. Put the arse on her, will you? They'll be small by the time you get up here, babe. What did you say? <laughs> what? Are you looking? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't think you're looking. I, I... Is it worth the walk up? Yeah, guys, and I'm not bragging that I fucking did it because I had to put the hard yards in. I had old Rusty there pushing me along. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. As you can see guys, we're running into a little bit of drizzle. Only a couple of spits at the moment, no in the boat. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Whether or not I've got to take the electricals on off, off, I don't know. That's going to be the thing. Welcome back on board guys. We are hitting Meningi. Meningi. Meningi or Meningi? One of the two in the boat. Yep. Not sure how it's pronounced. But uh, we're down here, heading, still heading towards Robe, Kingston then Robe. And um, it is a beautiful little spot. It all went a little bit overcast, we have had a shower through here. Haven't had to put the wets on yet though, have we babe? No. Been through here once, I think it was Melbourne Cup Day and everything was shut. Meningi is a charming holiday destination at the northern end of the Coorong which was created as a staging post for local travellers and graziers. The large number of parks beside the lake, the reeds and the large number of birds all combined to make it a town of a particular beauty. So we've just had a bit of brekkie at uh, Meningi Cafe, haven't we sweetie? Yep. No services for 145 k's, babe. Right. Right D-O. So we're coming along the Coorong, guys. Absolutely beautiful. It's not the perfect viewing day, but it's not too bad now at the moment, isn't it, Bo? Yeah, it's a pretty. Little, a little bit of breeze, isn't it? So, anyone that recognises the name Coorong, or Coorong Way, down around through this area, they might know that the movie Storm Boy was filmed here, wasn't it, Bo? It was. Down yeah. along here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, I suppose I could always Google it. And for all our overseas view viewers, if they don't know what Storm Boy is, it was a film about a boy and a pelican. Back in the 70s maybe? Yeah, I think so, originally, wasn't it? It's an iconic movie though. Yeah, it is. But now guys, we're coming into Kingston. See if Kim can see the big crayfish this time. <laughs> Hey, did you never seen it last time we were through this way, did you, babe? No, I cannot remember. Now, what's this here, sweetie? Oh, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> did I not tell you there was a big crayfish here? Yeah, you told me. Look at that. I can see it this time. Can you see the big crayfish this time? Yeah. So, do you see the big crayfish that you never seen last time? Yeah. So, what do you think? He's huge. And see that Caltech servo there? Yeah, yeah. That's where we went last time, the crayfish was right there. 
Do you think they moved him? No, they haven't moved, unless he crawled away. <laughs> he might have. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, she didn't know about this. No. The Big Lobster is a tourist attraction located in the town of Kingston, SE, South Australia. Known locally as Larry the Lobster, the sculpture of a spiny lobster stands 17 metres tall and is regarded as one of the most impressive of Australia's big things. Designed and built by Paul Kelly for Ian Backler and Rob Moyce, it is made of steel and fibreglass and was intended to attract attention to the restaurant and visitor centre as which it is situated. The Big Lobster was opened on the 15th of December 1979 after six months of construction. So, yeah. that's a big crayfish in a boat. I know, and that's I was just saying that last time we were here, I remember that tractor up there. Yes. And um, she doesn't remember this at all. Uh, and we stopped at that Caltech servo up on the right up there. Uh, so uh, go figure, guys. She's very observant, this woman. Yeah, it's a worry. <laughs> it's a fucking worry. Okay, guys, so we're going into uh, Kingston just uh, for a bit of a drive by in a boat. Yeah. Well, they're telling me this is the uh, this is the centre, Henry yeah. Zone, babe. Kingston South East is an historic port, which is now a holiday destination, famous for its lobsters. Its location is on Lassipede Bay, a town known for its safe beaches and outstanding national parks, both of which are home to seals, dolphins, and sea lions. We got a pub right down here on the beach, just about, haven't we? Here comes young Kimmy, look. Full of life today, isn't she, eh? Look at her. She going for it, look at her. <laughs> she thinks I'm filming. Look, she's still pissed. We've just had a, a little rest stop. We've come down from Murray Bridge, as we've said. And um, we're on Kingston Foreshore here. We're going to head on to Robe now, aren't we, my darling? Robe. Robe, and see if we can get some accommodation there, otherwise we might be coming back here. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I'm not a real fan of this town. Why? I'm sure it's a beautiful town. Look at the beach over there. If you wanted to swim, but it's not a very good swimming day. <laughs> no day's a good swimming day for us, is it? No. Uh, a couple of fucking whales floundering in the water. <laughs> <laughs> As the sign says across the road, guys, welcome to Robe, South Australia, isn't it, babe? Yeah. I hope Kim likes this town a bit better because this is where she's staying tonight. <laughs> what do you reckon? I don't hey, know. We can be right. Never been here. Hey? Have we? No, we've never been here. Sure, thank God for that. True story, babe. True story. There you go. Look, there's a sign to prove we're in robe. It's pretty. So far, so good for Kimmy, eh? Yeah. Okay, guys, this is Robe Street, Main Street. We're just going to cruise down here and have a bit of a look, aren't we? Yeah. Robe is one of the most charming and unspoiled holiday destinations in Australia. Located on Gushen Bay, it combines a dramatic, rocky, windswept coastline with a number of attractive and secluded beaches including the beautiful 17 kilometre long Long Beach. It is a notable for a sophisticated town centre which not only has a wealth of historic buildings but also offers fine dining with great local wines and chic cafes with very classy coffee. The real charm and character of Rome can be best experienced by walking the original streets which have been little older since the 1860s. It is a very special town with a seductive ambient which has been well protected from overdevelopment. And this town totally seduced Kim and I. We absolutely loved it. There's a few more shops open in Robe. Yeah. Oh, look at the colour of that water. It's pretty. What the hell? Oh, look at the colour of it. It's very... Light, God. light blue or something, isn't yeah. it? That water's very pretty. Fucking hope it is. Look at that, guys. Look at the water there. It's beautiful. Oh, 
Yeah. Okay then, so we've got ourselves a room, haven't we? Yeah. You'll kick your, what's the name, passenger foot peaks down again. Who you been carrying? Luggage. No, passenger foot peak down. Who's yeah. been on your bike? Freaking yeah. Hawkeye. Yeah, I'm on there, guys. Okay, then. That was so easy. We just pulled up. Didn't, <laughs> even, have, didn't even have it booked. Yeah. Within a matter of two minutes, the they door un- was open. They <laughs> unlock the door remotely, don't they? Yeah, that was cool. Number 10's parking spot here, Bo. Oh, we're allocated. Well, it's got number 10 on it, so I think we should take it, shouldn't we? Yes. Yeah. The sun is out. What more can you want, Bo, Bo? I should. And that is the main street just over there. And the ocean's very pretty. Oh, we're going to go down there, aren't we, sweetie? We're going to go skinny dipping. <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, she didn't sound too excited about that, guys. Who are we going with first? Uh, yeah, well, now she's going to get yeah. excited, isn't she? Okay, we'll see you in here. You finally ready to rock and roll or what? I've been waiting all afternoon. I've been falling behind. Falling behind? You mean you've been going to the toilet a dozen times a day? I'll tell you what, guys. We've pulled up here, right? We've had a shower. We're in Rope, South Australia. And we pulled up here at the motel. Right, we go in, have a shower, everything, get ready to go down the street. We walk out across the road. Right, there's a bottle shop there. We better get half a dozen put in the fridge. Celebrations over the road. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, babe. How did we not see that when we come in? No idea. We only got to carry him to there. We should go there now. We should. (laughs) How good are That's we? That's a good kick, Rusty. <laughs> that means we don't have to walk all the way out to the pub, do we, babe? Yeah. Right. It's time for a celebration, a celebration, <laughs> baby. <laughs> celebrate. Let's all celebrate a six-pack together, eh? Yay! <laughs> okay, we're going to go in here. Well, I know, guys. Six-pack between Kimmy and I, it just doesn't seem right, does it? It doesn't. Hey? It does not seem right at all. But in saying that... There's enough road in the fridge at home in there, mate. <laughs> yeah, I had the gold today. Yeah. So we're in robe and Rusty's nowhere to be seen. I seen him in here ages ago and he hasn't come out yet. This is Celebrations Bottle Shop. Well, you sell you sell six packs of the crisp apple cider? It's you got loose ones down there. That's all Oh, is it? Oh, like are you? Rusty. You got the oh, play out of not the crisp apple, oh. yeah. Yeah. I just have to poke my head in the yeah, door yeah. and see if he's, what he's doing, I reckon. He's probably got confused because it says entry oh, okay. aisle, exit aisle, what, and I'm well, pretty sure he went in the exit aisle. Got. Yeah, probably the strong bow in the front fridge, I reckon. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'd say. Fridge, so. No, he's got I'll lost in the mate. fridge. Uh, we ride motorcycles right, and so just I tour around. And I don't know what he's yeah. got. Yeah, Here he is. We're over from Tassie. What'd you buy, mate? <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> I thought you might have got lost. <laughs> lost with the grog, that's all she's worried about, I can tell you that. So Bye. I've got them, don't worry. You got, I thought you got lost, you took ages. Well, now, it's very complicated. Why? Because I went down the back, right, and they had five seed cider. Yeah. And I thought, bonus. Yeah. Now, they had cloudy apple six packs. Yep. And they only had a few loose crisp apple. Right. So I went up the front arcs. Well, they're doing out of the crisp apple. Ah. Oh. And, the, and the five seeds all together. So they never had no six packs. So, so you got strong bow. You couldn't have got me the three, <laughs> three others and then you three of them? Or Those not? three fucking ones would have cost me as much as a six pack. Ah, oh, okay then. Okay. All right. And then you wouldn't have had as much grog as old Rusty and would have been complaining. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. I don't complain right. much. But, but anyway. when you do, you do. Right. I'm yeah. turning you off now. Okay. So, yeah, that's fine. We go over, get half a dozen, put them in the fridge. Come straight back. Like it's one and a half minute walk. Oh, get back here. She wants to go to the toilet. Okay, go to the toilet. Right. Ah! Get off the shitter, bud. Get off it. Come on. Look, we went across the road to get our stubbies, and now she reckons she's bloody, um... I can see you, babe. <laughs> and now she reckons she's got to go to toilet. All we did was go across the road. Old people's bladder. That's what I call it. Right, so we'll be right here, won't we? Look, Kim will be able to charge her bike up because there's a Tesla charge station right there. See that? Right there, Tesla. Kim will be right. She'll be able to charge her electric donk up. You finished yet, babe? 
Are you finished? Yeah. You need the water running. It's not you, is it? What? I don't want to disturb you. I'm just washing my hands. Okay. So we take off again. And straight across the road, there's a lolly shop. Chocolate coated snakes. So we buy some of them and decide, yep, yeah, we'll bring them back to the motel room. It's straight across the road. <laughs> Someone wants to go to the toilet and get me. We've had a great day today, I can tell you. We left Murray Bridge this morning. Under grey sky, a grey cloud on it. Got a bit of a shower, not much. Didn't have to put wet weathers or anything on, but it got better as we come this way, didn't it, eh? Yep. And I tell you, what a spectacular place, isn't it? Road. I tell you, look at our pictures on Facebook. You would think we're in North Queensland. But how do you know we're not? Well, hey, know, hey, how do they know? They don't, they don't know, do they? But, but we did um, come down past the Kurong. Yeah, that was nice. yeah, it was. A beautiful ride in around the Kurong. Anyone that doesn't know the Kurong, it is where Storm Boy was filmed down through that way here in South Australia. And I had to take Kim, I purposely had to come through this way because I had to take Kim back to a place that she'd never seen. I suppose you'd would have been seven, eight years ago now we're over this way and went out through the queue wrong way. But at Kingston there's giant crayfish. Well, I've always talked about this giant crayfish and I say to her, don't you remember it? No, I didn't see it, I didn't see it. We were across the road at the fucking service station, right? Filling up at the Caltex. And straight across the road is a 50 metre fucking crayfish. <laughs> and she never seen it. And she reckons I was lying to her. Like I'd lie to her. Yeah, well, that's the no. problem. No. That's the problem. So I brought her back. And, she, and she's looking at it today, standing there. Saying, oh, I don't know how I missed that. I must be perving on someone in the servo. I reckon I was. Yeah, me. I was putting the petrol in. Oh, oh, that's it right. was me. Want a babe? Seven or eight years, you were something to look at then, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Stand up, turn around, give us a look. Hi. <laughs> hey, guys, I'll show you. Well, this is our motel room for the night. Don't have a pool in it. Oh, Jesus, she wouldn't have used the pool anyway, guys, so don't worry. So, this is our motel room for the night, right here. Not a bad little complex. And the main street is right there. Right there. That there is the main street. So, Pretty lucky there, aren't we, babe? Hey, I'll take him inside. Number 10 we are. Four. Yeah, well, actually, it's not that much of a mess here today, babe. It's not too bad. There's all our gear. And we got the old love nest there, as I always say. All our helmets and everything. Now, I'm very impressed with this cabinetry. Very impressed. Look, soft clothes. Look at this. High end stuff tonight, and I'm even more impressed. Look at this. We've got a recycle bin here, babe, haven't we? Put her in. Yeah, look, I've taught him how. I've taught him the difference between recycle and rubbish. Now, when she gets home, hopefully she'll fucking remember. Yeah. But look, also. Now, I'm very impressed. But very impressed. Soft clothes. Got a fan tonight. Ah, so I'll show you around. I'll show you the rest of the unit. Right, there you go. Look, see? Barn door like. A bit like we're at home, isn't it, babe? Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. yeah? What are you into? I'm just putting them in there. My makeup. You flogging removers. stuff. What have you flogged? My makeup removers. Yeah, I'd like to know where you got them from. All right, Rusty. Here you go, mate. Rocking it there tonight, Rusty. There's the shitter, guys. Yep, everyone needs to know about the shitter, don't they, babe? No, Give my hat off. I don't want nits. No, look at the shitter. Yeah, what about the shitter? You, you're the shitter. You're the bloody shitter. There's our shower, yes. Double sized shower. Mind you, once Kim gets under that shower head, oh, well, Rusty, don't get no water on him whatsoever. Come on, get up. You haven't had much of a walk today. Come on, man, we've got some drinking to do. We got drinking to do. Oh, for fuck's sakes! You got a hand on that, have you? A handle on that, have you? What? On that thing there. Yeah, Look at that. Handle. Doesn't that fit nicely right there, eh? Got a handle on Fair that. Fair income, babe. You, 
I'll tell you, you're going to get those fucking bands for sure. And there's the strong bow. So I've about had enough, guys. I'll tell you, it's probably a good thing we're going home this week, I can tell you. <laughs> what do you reckon? Get out before you kick down. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, now say goodbye, babe. Goodbye, babe. Okay, see you, babe. Of what we've seen so far in Rope, we've done a couple of blockies. Mm. What have you done here? <laughs> it's not what I've done, it's what you've done. Look at her. Doesn't it doesn't go up there. Well, if you've got weight on, your T-shirt doesn't fit you like the way it used to be. <laughs> what are you doing? You've got a bit of fluff there between your boobs. Oh, fairy boobs. That'll oh. do. Oh, Jesus. That'll do. You're going to have to move your necklace. Put her around the back, babe. Put her out the back door. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, we've done a couple of blockies looking for a motel. We found this one. And now it's time to look for food in the boat. Chocolate over the road. We, we better go here first because this is club. What? A chocolate house. Oh, I love They might have chocolate coated snakes. We brought a packet of them the other day and Kimmy said, oh, I won't want any. Yep. She ate three quarters of a fucking packet and old Rusty got quarter of a packet. <laughs> I can tell you, babe. So we're in the main street of Robe, aren't we, sweetie? Yep. Still looking for somewhere to eat tonight? On a Sunday, there still are a couple of things open in there, babe. Yep. Yeah. That's it, here. It's a crossing. It goes all the way up there. And guys, you just wait till you see the water up here. The turquoise in the sweet. Yeah. You would be forgiven to think you're up north somewhere, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm fair dinkum, babe. Mm, it's pretty. It is beautiful. You really do have to love South Australia, don't you? Yeah. For these old buildings and that. Tie... Absolutely magic, all the old sandstone ones, aren't they, babe? Tie your horse up on those ones. Yeah, yeah, you just tie the horse up there. And the weathercock's a weather goat. Yeah, I'm your weathercock. <laughs> I'll tell you about Weathered. the weather. Weathered. Weathered, yes. Well, that's not bad, is it, eh? Here, yeah, go across and... this crossing. OK. And, go across um, this crossing. time they're open hey, to The crossing. So we can see a recipe. You weren't on the crossing. No, it's nice. It's not a crossing. Oh, this. I can just imagine a gunfight happening over there underneath <laughs> that veranda, mate. Yeah, okay, corral. Up there, yeah, one of that. them bloody rooms up there with a bloody rifle yeah. shooting you. Hey, guys, so we're down at the beach. Now, sit down before you look at this because it's absolutely beautiful in the bay, babe. Yeah. Have a look at this, guys. Look. Come on. Tell me, babe. Tell me that ain't beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? It's a little bit breezy down here. I hope the colours have been picked up in the... GoPro. We're not putting a filter on because that costs too much. No, we're not doing a Daniel Hayes and putting <laughs> any filters on, are we? No. That is the proper ocean. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful colour. Do you not think, babe? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> What have you found there, Kimmy? So it's a Chinese memorial. What for? Um, so during the years between 1856 and 1858, 16,500 Chinese people landed near this spot 
They walked 200 miles to the Victorian gold fields in search of gold. So this is reenacted for the Statue's Jubilee, 150 years celebration in 1986. There you go. So what you're saying is, this is where they landed, right here? Yep. All oh, right. Well, and they walked, a nice sandy patch to land on. They walked a shitload of kilometres to yeah, try and find to the Victorian gold. gold fields. Yep. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. We're down at the Wolf Precinct down here in Robe, aren't we, sweetie? Yep. Tell you what, it is a very beautiful place. It's I've got no doubt about that. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Three o'clock is about fucking over. I'm going home. Time's to <laughs> fuck the beauty. I'm going home. It's stubby time. It's stubby time. We're on holidays. Yeah, we're a bit late today. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm going to have to rush through this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> when you like some of these boats, eh, babe? Yeah, I want the sea domain. What? The sea domain looks good. It's pretty big. It's a nice little sheltered marina, this. Yeah. Entranceway is just over here where we're going to take you now. We have a wooden vessel here. So it looks like an old Chinese junk nearly. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, getting some work done to it, I guess. Just propped up by poles. Yeah. Want to go and kick the poles out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the entranceway to the marina. A big breakwater wall here. Fairly deep that by the looks of it. Right Must get there. some fish in there. And out to the ocean. A big wharf over the other side there. Old wharf. Old jetty I should say. Skinny dippers. Ooh, where are they? Oh. In the big blue ocean. All I see. And that nice sandy beach right over there. Yeah. All I see is a gun show here. Yeah. Oh, look at the sandy beach over there. And he's skinny it's dippers. It's fucking nudist beach, babe. It's Maslin Beach. It's not Maslin's. But hey, babe. Well, if I was tall enough, I'd be able to have a look. Oh, yeah. Well, look at that bird coming up the path there. Uh. <laughs> see what it looks uh, like. I won't go around to it, babe. Uh, what can you see, Kimmy? I don't know. Oh, rocks. Rocks. I can see rocks. Okay. Been in a magic place, guys. Come to Robe, <laughs> South Australia. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Just another beach. The water is stunningly beautiful out here. Good morning all. Here we are at Robe, we've just woke up. Now, this is the first time during these holidays that I've sent Kim on a mission. I don't know, and she's gone out by herself alone, so I've sent her over there. Over there to that coffee shop, there's a coffee shop right there, to get old Rusty a proper coffee, a cappuccino. Now, I don't know if she's gonna fail or she's gonna be a winner. She gets a bit scared when she goes by herself doing things. I've had to do everything. So we'll see if she comes back with the goods. Here she comes, look at this. Oh, she didn't buy herself anything. This is the first time on the road. She's actually got rusty coffee. Has not even made me a coffee yet. And look, babe, I told you you could keep 10 cents for lollies. I kept a dollar, mate. Oh, mate, she kept a dollar. She kept a goldie. What's that for? for oh, my. Okay. I want receipts. Is that, you see, that is why I do not send her for coffees, because she gets ripped off. Yeah, didn't you, hey? Off. Look here, you're a fucking mess. What's going on? <laughs> Have you just hopped out of bed? Yes. Yeah, basically, <laughs> isn't it? Basically, and Russ has just, look, bagged up his bike. I'm about to bag her bike up. Aren't I? Got out of bed and he sent me for coffee run. Yeah, well. She was doing nothing else, guys, wasn't she? write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold If you keep on waiting 
But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you